this video, we're going to derive the divisibility rule for the number 7. So, let's note one thing. Let k be any integer, positive integer. Then k can be written as 10 times a plus b, where a is an integer, and b is a digit. If you don't believe that, just look at the following. If you have this number, it is equal to 725 times 10, that's your A, times 10, or 10A, plus the digit, B. Any number is a multiple of 10 plus the unit digit, plus the ones digit. Okay. So now, 7 divides K, if and only if 7 divides K. And I'm calling k 10a plus b. Now, you can add or subtract any multiple of 7, and it won't change whether or not 7 divides this number. If and only if 7 divides 10a plus b minus 21b. Because we know 7 divides that number, so 7 is going to divide what's in the brackets if and only if 7 divides that. But that's exactly what this says. Okay. If and only if 7 divides, all I'm going to do is rewrite this. This is 10a minus 20b. If you take away 21Bs and you add back 1B, in the end, you took away 20Bs. If and only if 7 divides this. I'm just going to write this differently. I'm going to factor out the 10. Now, 7 does not go into 10. So the only way 7 is going to go into this number is if and only if 7 goes into that. And that's your rule. If you take A and you take away 2 times B, if 7 goes into that, then 7 goes into the original number. Let's try to do this with an example. Suppose you have 7, 3, 5, 4, 2, 1, 4. And we want to know if 7 goes into this. Well, that's our A. Oops, oops. That's our A, including the 1. That's our A. And that's our B. Well, 7 goes into this number if and only if 7 goes into A minus 2B. So I take away 8. 7, 3, 5. 42 minus 8 is 34. If and only if 7 goes into this number. Uh, Oh, it, it, excuse me, I apologize. I keep forgetting that one at the end. It's A minus 2B. 7, 3, 5, 4. 21 minus 8 is 13. So if and only if 7 goes into this number. 4, 1, 3 at the end. If and only if 7 goes into 
that number minus two threes. Seven, three, five, 35. Now, once you realize that seven goes into the one of these numbers, you can stop. I mean, I personally, I would have stopped at the beginning. Seven goes in here evenly. Seven goes into 35. Seven goes into 42. And seven goes into 14. It's going to go in one, zero, five, zero, six, zero, two times. That is... 1,050,602 times. But if you don't see it, keep going. Now, we take this number, 7353, three, and we take away 2 times 5, which is 10. So we have 7343. Three. If and only if 7 goes into... Seven, three, four, three. Actually, that's the first number I can tell if seven goes into. Yeah, I guess I can. Okay, so now we take this number, seven, three, four, and we take away two threes. This gives me seven, two, eight. If and only if seven goes into seven, two, eight. Had no idea it would take this long. If and only if, well, I take 72 and I take away 16. This gives me 56. If and only if 7 goes into 56. And you should know 7 times 8 is 56. But if you want to say you don't, fine. You take 5 and you take away 2 6's, which is 12, which is negative 7. And... Trust me, if you didn't know that 7 goes into 56, you probably wouldn't know what 5 minus 12 is. And 7 actually goes in there. 7 goes into negative 7, negative 1 time. So the answer is yes. So that means that 7 goes into all of these numbers. In particular, 7 goes into this number. That's the rule for 7. If you love videos like this, Please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends and enemies about it. Most of all, watch and learn.